I like the way he, he takes every risk. He knows what he wants, exactly. He began the year with a bang. Joe Wilfried Songa kicked off his season in style down under. The Frenchman showed he's in fantastic shape, battling his way to the semi-finals. Yes, it's a very good start. I had a very good Australian Open. I hope it's going to carry on like that. And if it does, I hope I'll reach my goals. Joe's quarter-final at the Australian Open was against the Serbian Novak Djokovic. His motivation could hardly have been higher in a meeting with a notable history. It was a very special match because we met in the final of the same tournament two years ago. It was a bit like revenge. And I won it this time. Sadly for Tsonga, his Grand Slam dream came to a shuddering halt in the semis against Roger Federer, who was in typically masterful form. When he plays like that, it's almost impossible. As I was saying, you have to play at 300% to maybe even have a chance. But even then, sometimes it's just not enough. I was very disappointed. It was a rather harsh defeat. But now, a few hours later, I'm realizing that after all, I was in the semi-final and it was a good start for this season, so it was very good. This 24-year-old always attracts plenty of support. He's never short of a smile and known for his amiable nature. So no wonder Tsonga is a favorite with the fans. Well, it's very important when you're a tennis player to present your own image, to be different from the others. So while I'm only trying to be myself, and that's what sets me apart from the others. There's much more to the life of a modern-day tennis star than the time spent on the courts. For Joe, the runway was calling, even if he looked slightly reluctant. I think I'm more nervous doing this than playing in a semi-final. Strutting his stuff on the catwalk may have seemed a daunting experience, but it's part and parcel of a tennis star's life on the road. So does Joe find life in the media spotlight too intrusive? No, but at some point everyone knows everything about your life, but you get used to it. And at the same time, I haven't got grounds to complain really, because it's one of the best lifestyles in the world. In November, Joe was in London on standby duty for the 2009 Barclays ATP World Tour Finals. This year, the Gallic superstar hopes to be off the bench and on court at the O2. I hope that by the end of the season, I will be better than at the end of last year. I think I've made a good start and there are still a lot of tournaments in the year, so I'll need to keep fit and play tennis well. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, a young man going places. The Moscow-born Evgeny Korolev on his rise to the top. And we hit the beach stateside, going beyond the sea and surf to uncover all the action at Del Rey. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.